Hello, my fabulous Taurus people. I missed you guys so much. I hope you can tell by my voice that I'm smiling. It is always an honor to do your readings, guys. I love you so much. So thank you for being here. So you want this homemade reading. That's what we're going to do. First ha half of this video, we're going to ask about you. What's coming towards you? What you'll be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good? Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with them, uh, what's on their mind, how they are feeling towards you at this time, especially emotionally. What are they thinking and feeling? Let's do this, Taurus. I missed you guys. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Taurus? What will Taurus be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? Oh, I see one extra for you, Taurus. Wow, look at this. King of Cups, being in love. Wanting, some, wanting to take a leap of faith in love. This is you. King of Cups, whether you're male or female. Look at this. This is wish fulfillment, wishing for something. Wow. This is you loving somebody, <laughs> caring for somebody emotionally. But they're showing up here as very guarded, whether they male or female and whether you male or female. Um, this is not necessarily representing gender of yours or theirs. It's representing feelings and uh, the way they are right now, the way they seem right now. You showing up here as interested in somebody, emotionally loving towards somebody, and the other person that you're interested in is uh, kind of withdrawn, not really showing emotions or expressing emotions, very guarded perhaps. Look at this. This is some kind of new victorious beginning. Let me see what's going on. You want to take a leap of faith with somebody on your mind. Somebody. So this is for part, a group of you, Taurus, that are interested in somebody emotionally. Yeah, you're quiet, though. You've retreated. You're not showing or expressing your emotions, not communicating. Yeah, look at this. You've got victory card twice from two different tarot decks. Victory. Six of Wands. Yeah, look at this. Passion. Showing up with Ace of Wands. Yeah. Let me see what's going on. You're interested in somebody. Interested emotionally. Hmm. Let me see. Universe, this is interesting. This is good. Universe, please show us. Magician, this is you wanting to manifest this. But you are not doing anything. You just... Uh, wishing, hoping right now to manifest something with this person you're interested in, but um, you are not taking action right now. Yeah. Wow. You view this person as an uh, important soulmate of yours. I'm, I can't wait to see what the energy is like towards you when we ask second half. Look at this. So this is communication, back and forth communication showing up here. A lot of you are concentrating on finances, business, creating your own financial empire. Whether you're working for yourself or somebody else, you're very diligent, very good ideas. <clears throat> wow, you have so many court cards here. You have three kings two queens so you are collaborating with a lot of people about something important in your life and you have a night so for some of you it's to do with your family because four of wands is showing up here collaborating on something also travel showing up here for some of you you're gonna be vacationing planning vacation with different people for some of you this is collaboration on business Making wise financial and business decisions. So a lot of you have this love and passion for your business. 
new business ventures. Yeah, communication is showing up here with a lot of different people, important communication and you taking a leap of faith. So a lot of you are taking a leap of faith on uh, changing something major in your life regarding your finances, business, job, financial investments, also vacation showing up for a lot of you, collaborating with many different people around you. Yeah, this is beautiful. Let me clarify the six of one showed up twice for you. New beginnings for you, Taurus. You forging ahead, not looking back. Very good. Universe, please show us what's coming towards Taurus. Yeah, you're showing up here as very shrewd, intelligent, guarded emotionally, but wise. You are very attractive to people. People find you very attractive, uh, successful, and you're very guarded. Uh, you don't trust people that easily. You're very wise. People need to earn your trust. Yeah, they need to earn your trust. So a lot of people are very attracted to your energy, how you take care of yourself. Look at this, beautiful justice. So you have very good karma. Look at this, you have victory card with justice showing up here. For a lot of you, this has this combination has to do with legal case. For those of you Taurus that are going through a legal case through the judicial system, any type of case, whether it's separation, divorce, lawsuits, whatever, this is victorious uh, outcome for you. Victory, victorious outcome for you. <clears throat> yeah, look at this. Wow, whatever it is that you're going through when it comes to uh, judicial system, maybe you are working for a law firm, whatever it is, there is some kind of good energy showing up here. This is karmic, meaning, and karmic doesn't necessarily mean bad. It means it's playing out the way it's supposed to according to laws of karma. Uh, some kind of soul contract you have with people involved in this. Wow, look at this. There are people spying on you, though. Yeah, look at this. Deceit, seven of swords with page of swords. Yeah, you're going to be victorious, though. This is victory showing up twice. For those of you, a lot of you are dealing with a court case. And if you're not dealing with it now, a lot of you will be dealing with it this year. Um, don't worry, because... You have good karma and justice is on your side. You have people trying to trick you. Look at this. Deceive you. Work uh, against you behind your back. Uh, they're going to fail because they're creating their own karma by doing this. Yeah. Seven of Swords with Page of Swords. People spying on you to win in their favor. <laughs> Universe is on your side because you are honorable. You are honorable. Universe is on your side. So for those of you that are dealing with a court case or are about to deal with a court case that maybe you don't even know yet about, don't worry. Uh, justice is on your side because you're showing up as honorable, doing the right things. Let's see what's going on with your soulmate. Whoever it is that you're thinking of, Taurus, while watching this video. Universe, the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus emotionally. How is the soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus? So they want to come in with offer. They are slow to action though. Slow to action. A lot of you are dealing with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. They slow to action, observing things, analyzing things. Leo and Virgo showing up here, restraining themselves. They view you as very grounded, cautious, careful, analytical. Yeah, they don't know what to do. They feel like they are at a crossroads, trying to make a decision, concentrating on work. Maybe some of you know them from work or through work. This person is showing up here as unable to make a decision, unsure of themselves. They feel uh, wishy-washy to me with this energy. They're restraining themselves from uh, coming at you. They're not mature. 
No, they're not. Because you're showing up as a queen, grown, grounded. They're showing up as two knights, not a king. Now they're showing up as a king. They think they're a king. They know they have to act like a king. Mature. That's, this is how they really are. Knight of Wands, immature. Hasty. Not reliable. Not grounded. Not dependable. But they know they need to act like this. But they're very guarded emotionally. Yeah, very guarded emotionally. This shows disagreements. This person is spying on you, keeping tabs on you. Yeah, you show up as very grounded, mature, responsible, reliable individual. Queen of Pentacles twice, whether you're male or female. They showing up as a knight, a knight, and a page, but they know they need to act like a king, meaning grown up when they deal with you. So this person is interested in you for long-term commitment, but there are issues between the two of you. This person is spying on you, keeping tabs on you. Um, let me see their feelings for you. That's what I want to see. Universe, what are their feelings? What are their feelings? The soulmate's feelings. Let's see some cups, emotions. The soulmate's feelings for Taurus. Yeah, I thought so. Look at this. Ace of Cups. Hidden love. Unspoken love. Secret love. This person is in love with you. But they're hiding it. They're very disappointed. So something is not going right in this connection. They feel very disappointed. Hurt. They feel like maybe you left them out. Or maybe you don't care about them. Not interested in them. They feel very hurt. But this also shows deep emotional regrets they're feeling. All emotions. Cups, cups. This is all emotions. Five of cups. Sadness. Deep emotional regrets. Oh my God. All these feelings. Ace of cups. Five of cups. Two of cups. And page of wands. They keep showing up as page and knight. This person wants to contact you. Look at this. This means uh, communication that is unexpected, quick. Yeah, they slow to action, though. Again, as a knight and page, they're very slow to action. They can't, st can't stop thinking about you, reminiscing about you. Very emotional towards you. Yeah, have a lot of passion for you and want to contact you. Yes, a lot of you. Yeah, you see? Something happened because the tower is here. Something toxic happened. Yeah. This person is in love with you and they know they need to come in with solid offer. You're not going to put up with any nonsense. Yeah. They know you're not going to put up with any nonsense. Yeah. A lot of them will contact you, but they slow to action. Very slow to action. They want to know that they are consistent enough. So this person respects you a lot. They know you're not going to put up with any nonsense, any shenanigans. They feel very guarded, indecisive on how to proceed. Wow. You have a lot of people interested in you. Past life connection with this person showing up here, Taurus. You know each other from past lives. Yeah, look at this. Past life connection. A lot of you are dealing with Taurus, also Leo. Wow. Aries, Sagittarius, Gemini, Cancerian. Wow. Wow. Taurus, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time anything they hiding from you have up the sleeve whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you from universe from spirit on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life whether it's your health finances business job opportunities family matters whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so taurus click on the extended link below this video 
in the description box below and I'll see you there. I love you guys so much and thank you for your beautiful letters. I really appreciate it all.